I'm Vineet from Akamai, and I work on the Akamai cloud team and on taking our AI products to market. Now, I'm here to kick off a new short video series on AI at Akamai. It seems like everyone is working on AI today in some form, and so are we. We're fortunate enough to be able to see the incredible pace at which our customers are innovating with AI. So I thought it's time that we shared some of our ideas, the stories that we're seeing, and the tech that we're building at Akamai to help businesses in particular accelerate their AI apps and agents into production. Now, I'll run you through what I'm seeing, of course, but over the course of future episodes, I'm more excited to be bringing on some special guests from within the Akamai Brains Trust, including some of our brightest engineers and thought leaders who will tell us more about where the industry is heading and what we're building to meet the needs of businesses today. Now, you'd have to have been living under a rock for the last three years if you hadn't noticed the exponential growth trajectory that AI has been on. It's growing at unprecedented rates, even faster than the cloud. Since ChatGPT announced itself in 2022, the world has been intrigued. Now we have tons of models, and we generate ideas, we speed up research, and of course, we create memes. And it's fair to say AI has been an, a lot of fun. But businesses are turning to AI to supercharge efficiency. And in this new frontier of automation, they are quickly adopting AI into their workflows, which has created the need for enterprise-grade performance and control. There's been a lot of focus in the last few years on AI training. And this was necessary to develop the incredible models that we have the pleasure of working with today. Most businesses aren't seeing a compelling reason, though, to build their own models from scratch anymore. The existing frontier models and many other specialized models out there are very good. Now, whether you need a reasoning engine, an LLM, an image, video, or audio generator, or maybe you're doing transcription or translation, or even image classification, there are incredibly good models out there already, both in the proprietary space and in the open source space. Now, we're seeing customers use these existing models as a starting point and then honing them to deliver their business needs and even connecting multiple models together to deliver compound multimodal inputs or outputs. So the focus really is shifting to realizing maximum value from AI instead, and that means focusing on optimizing for inference. Okay, so what is this inference term that everyone's throwing about these days? If you don't know, it simply means taking a um, trained AI model and putting it to use. That's the part that users see, the actions, the insights, or the outputs of a trained AI model. AI is now a strategic imperative for most businesses. It's tied to goals that drive operational efficiency, customer experience, and even customer retention. So whether you're building chatbots, AI agents, or driving hyper-personalized recommendations for you know, curated customer experiences or even advertising, the success of your AI models come down to how quickly and efficiently you can deliver these results. And that means driving performance up while keeping costs down. Now, with the shift to AI inference comes some unique challenges that businesses need to wrangle while they're using infrastructure that was predominantly designed for training models. <laughs> Firstly, there are performance limitations of leveraging the existing centralized data centers to house all of your inferencing compute hardware. For users that aren't clustered around metropolitan areas where cloud providers may have their core data centers, this can add unacceptable latency to actions taken by your AI application, which will result in poor user experience. Secondly, the ecosystem is complex. There are lots, almost far too many models and tools out there for businesses to consider. From dozens of frontier models to hundreds and possibly thousands of fairly good models that are out in the wild, um, and even more being released on a daily basis almost this time. Then comes cost. Vertical scaling is expensive. GPUs are expensive. Data is the name of the game when it comes to AI. There's lots of data that you need to share and move around. And this incurs more cost than people actually realize and also affects performance. And lastly, it comes down to accuracy. Now, this is a very important consideration when it comes to things like, can you trust your AI? The longer it takes to identify and correct bad data means that your end users may be exposed to bad outputs. These are things like hallucinations or inaccurate information, and sometimes things that are just downright harmful. If you're unable to act on data close to where it's generated or consumed, you inevitably deliver poorer user experience. 
Now at Akamai, we've been thinking about this for a while. In fact, we've been addressing these challenges in various contexts for over two decades now. We pioneered content delivery and have strategically evolved our product portfolio to include full stack cloud computing, application and, and network security. And now specialized AI infrastructure. <laughs> Delivering content, applications, and now AI along our extensive network is core to enabling businesses to scale their AI applications with low latency and high throughput, and staying close to where their users actually are. When looking at the hyperscalers for AI, they've stacked their data centers to enable AI training. And as a result, today's AI infrastructure is largely designed for vertical scaling, basically throw more compute at every problem, which adds cost, which adds power considerations, and sustainability challenges. So can you solve this through a distributed compute lens? How do you scale? How do you deliver low latency? And how do you deliver low cost? This is what we do at Akamai. And we know that customers want all of that while keeping enterprise concerns at heart, like security, resilience, and robust governance. And that's exactly what we've built Akamai Cloud to do and why we believe that Akamai Cloud is the best place for you to deploy your AI workloads when you're serious about seeing results. We launched Akamai Cloud Inference to serve as a platform for businesses to quickly and easily deploy AI models for inference. We're building towards a future where streamlined models can efficiently run near the edge and are optimized for performance and cost, and ultimately deliver seamless user experiences. Akamai Cloud is really helping organizations to get the most out of their AI by offering a powerful platform for AI inference and agentic AI that can transform the way businesses work. What makes Akamai Cloud stand out is that it's the world's most distributed public cloud, which basically means you get high performance AI that's easy to use, highly scalable, and more cost effective. And here's the cool part, because Akamai Cloud is everywhere, it can run AI apps super close to where your users actually need them. And that means they get quick responses, which is exactly what AI workloads need to shine. It's all about making AI work smarter for you wherever you are. Ultimately, we believe that the edge is the ideal location for where you would apply AI. That's where the data is generated and consumed. That's where the context is. And ultimately, that's where all of your decisions need to be made. And with that, it's time to wrap this episode. I'll be back again soon with guests that are way smarter than I and will unpack more of AI on Akamai. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts and comments below and I'll see you next time.